Hey guys, Alex here. In today's video, I want to show you how you can basically, I don't know, you could call it steal uh, or copy or use as inspiration your competitor's uh, website structure uh, from their post standpoint for creating content, for finding keywords, uh, for building out your own site. So I'm just going to jump right into it and you can see the prompt here right away. Basically, what we're going to be doing is uh, looking at their CSV and getting ChatGPT to pull out the blog post titles to then use for our own site. Now, my search was basic our uh, best logo design tips for beginners. In this case, we're going for a service, right? We're, let's pretend we're a logo designer. Uh, we want to find content ideas uh, and keywords to write about. Now, I already found this site and I'll show you why I chose this one. You're not going to want to recreate Blogspot or HubSpot. It's a huge site. They don't offer logo design. Uh, it's just more of a way to get people to the website. Uh, event page is, uh, is kind of an interesting one. Uh, Wix, you wouldn't want to create, create. Uh, but I, I found zikagraphic.com. And if you look at their site, if you're if you're in logo design or you want to offer a service, right, like graphic design, brand design, this is this is the kind of website you're going to want to go ahead and recreate. So from here, uh, you just visit the homepage and you want to find the sitemap. So the sitemap is going to be something like this, sitemap.xml. Uh, there's tools, if you Google how to find a sitemap or, or find sitemap online, there's tools that will send you to the sitemap. This one redirected to sitemap underscore index because it's using Yoast. From here, you can see there's four post page portfolio or category. Now you can copy, you can copy category and page, uh, depending on how far along you are in structuring your site. But in this case, for the purpose of creating content, we want the blog post sitemap. Now this is a list of all the blog posts on the site. It shows the blog post URL. It shows how many images and the last time it was updated in the future, right? This will be good content or this will be good information because you could go for older posts, uh, and improve it. Um, compared to that, you know, this, this one, for example, hasn't been updated since May 2022. So you could go back and this might be one you wanted to start out with, uh, just from an update standpoint. Now from here, you're going to post this into, uh, ChatGPT, right? Now we have all this list of the URLs. You want to name this Zika, uh, blog URLs, and then you're going to want to, uh, download as a CSV so that you can then input it into ChatGPT. Now you will need ChatGPT 4 for this. Um, I don't think uh, GPT 3.5 is using the uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, is using is able to analyze data. So from here, you can see my prompts. Can you analyze the URL in the first column and give me a blog post title or topic for each URL? Start at one and work your way down. I will prompt you to add more. Please do not any add any quotations or formatting. Just the blog post title or topic. And so we just drag the CSV that you just saved into here, right? I tried this a few times. Sometimes you'll get an error. Uh, sometimes you'll get weird formatting. So let's just see if this one works on the first try. I'm going to pause really quick while it analyzes and jump back in in just a second. All right. It looks like it's finished analyzing or it just started analyzing again, but we'll see the output that it gives us. Here we go. All right, so I asked for no quotations, right? But you can see that it's working, right? It's giving you the first five, and it's pulling the uh, it's it's pulling the actual title that way we could use to recreate our content. So even with the prompt, you're gonna have to uh, mess around with the additional prompt for better formatting. So uh, for the output, provide just the title or topic, no additional formatting like quotations or uh, additional unnecessary it's probably not spelled right information uh, please try again for the first five now you can do the first 10 or 30 but i just like to do the first five just to see kind of there we go uh, just to make sure i get the formatting right and then from here you can just keep prompting chat gpt so uh, please do the next 30. so now um, you would just take this you would go back into your URL here. Um, and I, I do want that information. Oops. Um, and then you would just paste that in, right? Format, clear formatting. And now you have a list of all the blog post titles, right? Uh, of all the blog post titles from their site that you can now start creating your own content from. Now let's see, ChatGPT has gone through. There we go. Is it gonna do the full 30? So obviously for bigger sites, it's going to take some time. There is probably a way with uh, the OpenAI playground that you can automate this to do the full, uh, to take all the, the URLs 
um, in a CSV and output all, for example, 250, because this is gonna take some manual, um, some manual effort, right? But as you can see, in just what, five minutes, we have now 36 uh, blog post ideas uh, that we can add if we had a logo design website. Um, from which we can now put into uh, an AI tool or start add to our own keyword um, keyword strategy, right? And then now just for example, let's see if this is a relevant post or not. I'm thinking it's gonna be color gradient ideas, but we'll see if it gives us anything here. Yeah, that doesn't, boom, look at that. So we have a fairly low competition um, keyword, Color grading ideas for designers. And now let's just see what Google shows us. If it's the first one. No, so pin, and there he is, right? Okay, this is just gonna help build out your funnel or build out the topical authority for your site. It's just gonna help with relevance. Um, but without using any tools or anything other than ChatGPT4, this is a great way to start building out your keyword list. Uh, it's a great way to understand your niche more. And uh, it's just an awesome way to replicate what your competitors are doing. Of course, you're gonna to wanna to improve this content. Uh, let's find an older post and see, yeah, for example, this one, oh, that, the color gradient ideas one. Let's just actually see uh, how it is from a quality standpoint and if it can be improved. Yeah, so this post doesn't even have any, is this a tool? No, this post doesn't even have any any content, right? It's just showing color gradient ideas. So from an improvement standpoint, you could take this post, add a bunch of content, add more ideas, uh, and be able to improve it uh, and rank for a post like this just from this quick little tutorial here. And of course, with ChatGPT, you can just keep prompting it to add more and more. I'm actually gonna jump right into the OpenAI Open Playground right now and see if I can do this in one shot. Uh, if I can, I'll just probably upload another video. But uh, yeah, super easy way. I don't know if it's, I don't know how ethical it is. Uh, so I would not recommend copying these um, directly. You're gonna wanna add your own, your own spin to it. Um, and of course, you're gonna wanna improve it just for, uh, just cause that is gonna be your goal as a content writer and SEO. Uh, yeah, as always, you guys, thank you for watching. Uh, feel free to let me know down below if you have any comments, critiques, criticisms, questions. Um, and don't forget to subscribe for future SEO ChatGPT videos. Uh, and again, you guys, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.